Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Rome Total War here today on the channel. We're back on our Skippy I Roman Let's Play. This is episode 9. In today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon the Roman Senate and hopefully hitting our long victory conditions. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like for the Battle of Rome. And uh, let me know feedback and suggestions for the series. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on if you haven't already. So we have our relatively new faction leader, uh, Canius, who's actually down in Egypt. He's risen to the leader of the House of Scipii at, what, 32? And his son, Queso who's 17 years of age, is going to be leading the operation against the Senate. So, um, Canaeus will be declaring himself Emperor. Now, if you guys want to see more episodes of this Roman series, because once we take Rome, we're going to hit our, our long victory conditions. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more episodes. The Julii have united most of Germany and Gaul, while the Brutii have uh, taken most of sort of East Germany, maybe potentially modern-day Poland, and sort of up there. They've actually got Denmark under their control. Now, looking at the Senate's army, it's quite strong. It's still only about a 60-40 within our favor. Four Scipii here, or four Scipiones, are going to be sieging and fighting for the Battle of Rome. A wise man in times of peace prepares for war. Horus. So the heir of the Scipii line and future emperor is leading the charge. There's Rome in the background. The army of the Senate and people of Rome. They are our enemies and soon to be dead. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? That army represents about half our foe's military might. Not very impressive now, is it? Give them a cheer and put a good fright into them. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. Those people have never met us on a field of battle. After today, they will flee at the sound of our approach. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win, that my men will win, that victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. <laughs> Only a fool cares for omens and portents, no matter how bad they may be. We make our own destinies, and we are not ruled by the flight of some damn bird! Be of good heart, for within the day, reinforcements will reach us! Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves! All right, let's start the deployment and battle. We have an abundance of Praetorian cohort, Praetorian guard here. Three units of archers and one scorpion. Strong long front line, inverting the flanks by three. We should push up here before more reinforcements come in. A little bit of a rock of Gibraltar there, I guess. Let's move my archers up adequately, along with my ballista. Queso's first major fight will be against the Romans, but victory is in his veins. From Cornelius Africanus to Julianus uh, Iberius, North Africus. <laughs> I don't really know what to call him. And then, of course, Flavius who conquered most of Egypt. So a lot of Vilates, Hastati there. Not the most robust and sort of Marian reformed army, this Senate one. But they have a lot of good commanders, the Senate, while we have battle-hardened and bloody troops. All right, 
Let's push against them. Rome is in the background there. That is the major goal. They've, they're going to fight us on the field here today before pushing to uh, and making us do a siege. The Praetorian cohorts for the House of Scipii are pushing. Here we go, lads. The SPQR and Scipio front line is about to clash. Pillar loose. Hold the line, men. We're doing well. Now, I made the decision to build fortifications in and around the city of Rome. Oh my god, a little bit of friendly fire there. But this first charge is doing well. The Senate's Princopes and Astarte in Triaria can't hold up to the cohorts of the Skippy Eye. Yeah. Um, I built fortifications because the Julii I have like eight armies up in the north near Arinium and Aretium. So war with the Julii is now inevitable. Now they're at war with the Senate. The Brutii do have their forces towards the south in Brundisium. But most of it has actually gone north. But it looks like most of the Senate's army is now in a full retreat. Queso, Scipii. Queso, Scipio. Sounds like a, I don't know, a type of taco or something. Queso, Scipio. Sounds delicious. He will be the future emperor one day. Right, let's speed things up. Most of the army is still in a full retreat. Some of it is coming back and forth, but they're fleeing towards the city of Rome. But it looks like, for the Battle of Rome, the Scipii are victorious. Roma and Victor. I came, I saw, I conquered. And I guess the die has been cast. As in this alternative timeline, Cassio didn't cross the Rubicon. He crossed, I don't know, probably some Roman river. The Tiber, maybe. I'm not entirely sure how this alternative history will work out. But the enemy is now officially routing. And we've destroyed Rome's SPQR's last major army in hope. I only killed 100, we killed 1.6k. A disorderly mob is no more an army than a heap of buildings and materials. Socrates. So we've won the Battle of Rome here. Let's finish off the last scraps of that fleeing force. Interesting, those reinforcements didn't come in. Let's build, the, build up the siege equipment there. Alright, we need to finish off that army on the outskirts. How, how can you get around there? Oh, you can go for it now. So, we'll finish off the army that ran away in that fight. Right, let's do a quick save and a hard save. Alright, so we've won that one out. And... God, they fled even again. It's just because of this fort blocking, it's made it really annoying. Alright, let's push and siege out Rome. Now, although there isn't that many military forces in those forts, it's going to stop um, the Julii like rushing down and taking us out, because they do outnumber us. Alright, let's end the turn and continue. Already the Brutii have hit capital. We need this siege equipment built, because most of my military assets are still in Egypt. These forces have actually come from Iberia, mostly. But let's get rid of the Maximus line, let's say. Let's get rid of the Senate. Andronicus. Opius Maxentinus. Gelagris. But a clear victory, the Scipii have taken the city of Rome. The battle for Rome was decided on the field of Mars. 
Victory! We have victory. The great family of Scipii has been blessed by the gods. We we're always favoured by the gods. <laughs> Thanks to the Cornelius intro. And your inspired leadership. Victory is indeed sweet. And all Romans can sleep safely now, knowing that we rule the Empire and protect them from all enemies. Roman. Scipii armies now control the Empire. That stretches across the world. Victory is ours. So guys, unfortunately on that note, we're going to have to put a pin in the campaign here. For all intensive purposes, we've won. We've finished our short victory conditions of getting 15 regions and Carthage and Namidia. We've now hit 50 total regions encompassing Greece, the Balkans, Anatolia, Egypt, North Africa, and Iberia. And now we've taken the city of Rome, declaring myself emperor. So, depending on likes, support, comments, and suggestions, I can see myself doing more episodes, throwing back the Julii, who I'm sure will not bend the knee to a Scipii emperor under the name of Canaeus. Germany... West Germany and Gaul still fall under their governorship, along with the, I guess it's sort of like Illyrian, Croatian, um, Polish, East Germany, Danish territory of the Brutii. If not, you don't want to see more episodes, don't support it. And I'll move on to something else. Another strategy game on the channel, doesn't necessarily have to be Total War. Could be paradox orientated. Let me know. But I've had an absolute blast playing this Rome Total War series, the first on the channel, and I would like to come back to uh, Rome Total War at some point. So let me know. Would you like to see a Julii, a Brutii, or potentially another? Uh, series, but thank you very much for watching. Keep safe in these troubling times. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye.